There we go. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our regular Sunday hangouts. Um, yes. I'm Nick. This is. I am Andrea. <laughs> and As uh, in the the Nick and Andrea Hills Channel. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got it right today. Look, the yes. everything's there as it should be. High five, high five. Yeah. <laughs> Too late. No. Yes. So, yeah. welcome. Uh, if you are new to the channel, um, yeah, welcome to our regular Sunday hangouts. Really, this is our chance to come on and sh share some stuff. If we picked up stuff, and yeah. we have picked up stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, uh, if you're new to the channel, because you might be, yeah, um, we we're resellers. Um, we do we thrift things and then we resell them for a profit um yeah basically we, sums us up and then we make videos just sharing what we do and how is it i've been yeah. putting it we buy stuff and we sell it on the internet oh, fluffy beard thank you anyway so we are live if you are watching live please pop in and say hi i don't think i'm at the beginning of the chat because i can't get back that far uh we've got ollie aaron Daryl, good to see you all. Haggis lover. Um, not sure what people are chatting about in there. Pete's in. Uh, Damien. Matthew, who bought a U2 CD off us this week. Oh, okay. uh, oh, yes. yes, it says that on your notes. <laughs> yes, I've got a few other thank yous to say in a minute. Um, so, yeah, lots of people. Uh, Tack Shack, Tom Curry, GTFC. Oh, I feel like I've got a spider on my face. Oh. So something crawling on me. I've caught the sun today. Can, yeah, you can see it. Show? Can't you? Hang on. The back of your neck look, is really look how, red. Look how bright it is up there. Oh, I've got a line. I've got a line. I'm yeah. surprised I don't have a line here because we had masks on all yeah, day. Yeah, you've got a red forehead. <laughs> you've escaped. Yeah. Well, it's with... because I had a hat on, so you could barely uh, see. I had like a, just a tiny <laughs> area where I was looking out of. <laughs> Another one. This is last week's one. Yeah. So last week we talked about Boots Out. This week you get to see the haul. Yes. So <laughs> um, you might have already seen some of it if you saw our Boots Out vlog that we did from last week. So we just, you know. We're going to go into some more detail and show <laughs> yeah. you stuff. And we've had a chance to look a yeah. fair amount of it up so we can give you an idea of what so, we might hope to sell it for. I think so, that's basically what's going to happen. We've, we've been to a couple of boot sales this week um, and we sold at one today. Mm. which you know you're probably going to talk about later. video coming up um, soon so we do have you know a video coming out um but i think what's going to happen because everybody mostly everybody knows that i like to quarantine the stock for a while so we can't do a, a haul straight away so it's going to be a week behind each time <laughs> does andrea have an office can we have a tour um i do have an office yes um, I don't know about a tour. I could do a tour. It it's wouldn't take messy. long. You just spin around like yeah, this. Yeah, and it's a bit messy, but I could try. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it'd be interesting to show how you store and use your SKUs on the bags. Because um, I think your storage system is quite good. Yeah. Um, I forget that people find things like that interesting to me, I think. <laughs> I think it's dull as dishwater. Why would you want to know that? <laughs> well, because you deal with it every day. People like to see stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, hi, Paul says, uh, hi, myself and my partner, Sharon, are new to the channel and loving it. Oh, brilliant. Good to see you both. Thank <laughs> you for that. Um, hey, Kelly. So, yes, we are going to crack on and share some stuff, but a few other thank yous. So, Matthew, thank you for buying the uh, CD. Really appreciate that. Um, Andy bought... What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I've... I don't know what that was in response to, if it was someone no. else or... Or us. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. I do I see Lex in? Oh, Lex is in. Oh, and Heather, apparently. Um, <laughs> did you manage to sell those Wii Fit Plus games? I sold a lot, yes. It took about a day to sell every Wii Fit game I had. Um, some didn't clean up well enough, um, but everything that I listed went. Yes, we saw, Julie. We saw the video and the little mention. Oh, yeah, yeah. We watched it last and, night. And the cubes were in the video. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> That was very cool. Um, so quickly, uh, Andy, if you're watching, who ordered, uh, it was in my picking orders video. He ordered like loads and loads of CDs off us, now CDs. 
uh, which is cool. Um, Are we breaking Can I up? just say, for anybody who actually wants to follow Julie's daughter, it, her channel name is Adventurous Blondie. I think I've got that right. I will, okay. I will double check it. But I think that was right. So thanks, Andy, for the purchase of the now CDs. Uh, Sam bought um, a promotional Star yes. Wars lightsaber. Okay, cool. Yeah, Adventurous Blondie, if anyone wants to give Julie's daughter a follow. Um, so thanks, Sam, for the lightsaber purchase, which was, was quite a good sale. I think 35 we got for that. And Hannah, who bought a tin opener. You know, we all need a tin opener. Sold out of them now. Maybe um, Kelly was what? answering... Um, is it Mer Marilyn? Marilyn? Um, above talking, yeah. Marilyn's. Ah. How many um, of you in the chat went to Carbit today? In your opinion, how well organised was it by the staff and stewards? Perhaps that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Well, we went to the same one that we did last week, and it was run exactly the same way. And there were people adhering, and there were people ignoring everything. Yeah. Well, I think they actually tried harder this week. Um, they were on loud hailers, weren't they? Yeah, they were telling people, reminding people to keep the distance. Yeah. But I have to tell you one hilarious moment that just as she was announcing and shouting over the tannoy, um, please keep your two metre distance, I was bent over looking at something. And as I got up, I bashed into the woman that was leaning over me to look at something else <laughs> at exactly the moment where they were saying, please remember to keep two metres distance. Mm. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. So we were selling today, but we also went and did a little bit of buying. So yeah. um, that stuff we will share next yeah. week. We but probably missed on. loads of stuff because we always do if we're just going around quickly, don't we? Yeah. Um, but we went to one yesterday as well, and that was it was just all traders. Rubbish. Um, it might be better next week because what I was going to say is that this week, at the one we sold at, um, last week there's only like two rows. And this week it was heaving. We arrived thinking, well, we arrived late because we thought, oh, we want to be at the back. Well, I wanted to be at the back because then you had more space and blah, blah, blah. And um, we got there and it was absolutely heaving and they stuck us in a corner. Somewhere. We were in the far corner, yeah. like you couldn't squeeze any more stalls in. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on with stuff because we've got a lot to get through. So remember, this is last week's haul. Some of it you may have seen in the video. Um I took a punt on this. It's an Oral B Pro 650. It is used. Um, obviously, the heads, it's an electric toothbrush. You can change the heads so you don't sell it with a used head mm. on. Um, and yeah, I kind of took a punt. There was actually two in it, which is why I was keen as well, because there were two units. Um, we've all seen these things. We know what they look like. But in case you've never seen one, there you go. And hey. Um, yeah, and I didn't know, but I paid a fiver for the pair. I've managed to look up this one, which is the 650 that the box uh, is for, and they go for 15 to 20 used. I'm um, not sure about this other one. Let's see if that one's that one's going as well. So, yeah, it seems there's a market for those. Um, something to add to my roster of stuff. Now, I'm going to pass things your way. <laughs> I was wondering why everyone was telling George off in a joking way. He said, I got told off today by a steward. Genuinely, accidentally, accidentally went, went the wrong way. way. Yeah, yeah, well, there was a one-way system this week, but I'm not entirely sure everybody was sticking to that and nobody was telling them off for it. I don't think they were particularly. No. Um, but we, we did make a video today. I, I was forgetting to film because we were manic. We had a car full of stuff and it didn't really stop for a couple of hours selling wise mm. uh and then it did kind of calm down and i started to film a little bit more but we're going to put a video together of that and share how much we made in the few hours we were there um so let's share something else i'll try and mix up things that we bought now you yeah. you spotted these whilst yeah, i was busy i mean unfortunately the, the film is um a little bit you know tattered. yeah but they're not buying it <laughs> um, for the box, but i haven't so. actually tested these yet but they were what 20p 20p yeah. they are vintage they look like they're 80s to me yeah. worth taking they dated? On, I think. but they're they're ones that i proper remember from a kid they've got like little almost flower yeah different colors um and they've got there's a load of spare bulbs in here oh i can hear them rattling around yeah Oh, this makes me feel like a kid uh, yeah. changing these bulbs <laughs> yeah we don't get that anymore it's all energy no. 
Oh, look, there's a little screw in I there. I think that's why these are so popular because, you know, the A, nostalgia, but B, they're just so well made. But yeah, they're really pretty. Christmas morning. No, David, whenever you put up your tree, it was always a bulb's gone and you had to go through and work out which one and all of that palaver. I've no idea what they're worth. We haven't looked them up. I'm just laughing at Nadine's comment now. <laughs> Andrew and Sidekick. I'll, I'll take it. Um, so the same store we bought that, we also bought. Oh, David wants to know, why do you think that people are ignoring the two metres rule? I think mostly it's genuinely just forgetting yourself. Yeah. Mostly. I think and so. also when it does get busy, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to really stick to it. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, we, we said hi to Alan oh, yeah, again. yeah, yeah. Hello, I, Alan. I hope you found some goodies today. You had a bag yeah. full when we saw him. Um, same stall as that. I picked up this Ion uh, DJ mixing. Well, it's an IQ computer DJ system. Yeah, um, somebody's cool. messaged me and they want to buy it. Um, if you're watching, let me know. Um, yeah, I will. I'm happy to do a deal on that. I yeah. looked completed up to about £40 on these. So it was a good buy at £2. Yeah. Um, uh, hello, Debbie. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Debbie's a new subscriber. Debbie, hello. I'm a new subscriber to your channel. Fantastic. Good to see you. Well, what we're doing here is showing you some stuff we bought a week ago. <laughs> um, oh, I picked Thank up this. Thank you, Nia. <laughs> um, I briefly looked this up before we went live. Oh, yeah. um, the only one I could find had sold for 20 and it didn't have the pillowcase. Oh, ah. that smells of clean washing. It's been washed. So yeah, this. Didn't somebody say that that was um, somebody who died recently. Oh. I, I, I have no idea about wrestling. I'd have to ask. Yeah, I think it was a comment on um, on YouTube. So Raw is War, and then it's got a bunch of wrestlers all over it. Can you see them? Oh, yeah, I can see The Rock. I can't see a thing. Yeah, I can see The Rock. Um, and the back is, is all WWF, the old logo, before they changed it, because the World Wildlife Fund had a, had a tiz about it. Fair enough, really. Well, yeah, I, I, to be fair, oh, yeah, it's China. Um, and the pillowcase. Now, the one that I, the only one I found on completed briefly before we went live had sold for 20 plus shipping, uh, didn't have this. So I'm probably going to shoot for 30. Oh, someone's telling you, look, it's the Rock, China, and Road Dog. Rock, China, and oh, okay. I think the Do names you are on it, right, aren't they? Oh, are they? Which is helpful to me. Yeah, Road Dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. so for someone like me, oh, the, yeah, the rock. The, even oh. I know who the rock oh. is, to be fair. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's from Moana, right? <laughs> yes. Um, now, do you want to do something you Oh, well, we both kind of spotted these on two different stools. Hi, Leanne. Leanne says, I can't wait to get back to boots, to car boots, but none of my local ones are open yet. Yeah, I think it will be. It'll be soon, I think. They're all starting to filter filter across the country, aren't they? Opening them up. Yes. So Oh <laughs> Peter says sold. What's that? I don't know. So um you may have seen again in the video, I don't I'm not can't remember what came out, but one store we got this job lot of knitter needles for a pound yeah, and another and store we got some more was it two pounds for this lot i can't Possibly. remember similar um, size job lots and question here um blah, blah, blah. will you be rushing to the chazers this week um i don't think we're going to be rushing there are we we don't really <laughs> do a lot of charity shopping no. these these days I think, you know, we'd probably take a look once it's calmed down a little bit. I'm intrigued to to, to go and yeah. see how rammed they might be with but stuff. But it's not something that we feel the need to rush to at the moment. So paid, um, I think it was a pound for one bundle and maybe two pounds for the other. Um, I reckon looking at completed bundles of these, there's at least 20 pounds worth there, just job lotted. Yeah. Uh, there may be some interesting ones or there's some big sizes in there that could mm. be might be worth doing on their own or don't they yeah denise That's says nice. um at the car boot today there was people from charity shops and he said they are overloaded with stock yeah okay okay might be a buyer's market for a while then in the charity shops um, i don't know where i'm but you keep giving me this stuff i don't yeah I'm just i said well if you just like plonk it anywhere down there and then i'll have some space aside 
Now, there's a massive haul of media. Um, I do want to share some of that. I, I, we won't be able to go through it all. There's so much of it. Um, mm. Should we do that now or shall I do? What would you want to do next? Well, like you said, we'll be here forever. Should we do the blankets? Yeah. Yeah, um, I picked up a couple of vintage blankets. I um, don't know if this has got a label on it, actually. I don't remember looking, to be honest. Well, this is homemade. Just this one, really right? liked it. Yeah. Do you think that's homemade? Uh, or has it got a label on it? No, that will be hand crocheted. That's yeah, cool. That oh, I can see through so that. so lovely. I love that. Um, and then I've got a cellular one as well, which I was just looking to see if there was a label, but I can't see one. But it's, yeah, really, really nice. Um, and we paid five on the two, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. So um, I looked them up today, and this one needs a wash, actually. Um, I looked them up today, and I'm thinking about 15 to 20 on each of them. At least 20 on this, because this will be unique, won't it, if somebody's yeah. made it? I reckon we could push for 30 and see what happens. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might as well start at 30, right? Well, and then take 15 I don't know if you that's have asking to. asking too much, though. It's not the. the well, we'll, we'll see if we find out. Price, is it? <laughs> I'm in an aim high kind of mood. I know, but there are lots of other people that are selling that sort of thing, and they're not selling them for that high price. So. <laughs> okay, fair, fair enough. <laughs> Um, little um, lesson, don't believe what the stall holder tells you. I picked this up and I I some, I some, just believed her when she said, oh, that's brand new, never been opened. Oh. I did feel like, it did feel like the box was kind of sealed, but it's not. It's just tabs. Um, what it is, is a, a, vac, a genuine Vax uh, Pro Cleaning Accessories Kit. Fits all sorts of different Vax models. But... I think it's two of what's listed that should be in there are actually missing. It's missing a couple of bits, um, which is slightly annoying, but it was now for how much was this? Two pounds? I think it might have been two, two or three. I think she asked three and I'll probably get over yeah, two. I can't remember actually. <laughs> um, yeah, Shelley says she likes that blanket. I thought you might. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, but yeah, it should be twenty pounds worth there. I think um, so that's not too bad. That's slightly annoying. So then we, um, if you did see that video, you'll see that we we found a store that had a big, big uh, collection of this um, mm. midwinter Staffordshire stuff. Yes. Now the pattern is Spanish Garden. I've had a chance to really look into it a bit more. We tried to briefly look it up at the time. Um, so they wanted 20 when we were first at the store. We we said um, we wouldn't want to pay more than 10. And then they said, well, if it's still here at the end, you can have it for 10. So we went back near the end and we said, sorry, we, we decided we don't want it. And they said, just give us a fiver and take it away. So we did. And I'm glad we did because it's going to work out a lot better than I imagined. So there's there's only one oh, of these serving plates, but they sell. My mum collects that. Does she? Well, if there's any bits... Yeah, of... well, I, Sarah's interested in it, so... So there's a serving um, plate. Um, I can't remember prices off the top of my head, but that will sell on its own. I can't actually put this anywhere. because I've On I the floor, don't I? Yeah, but I can't throw it on the floor, and I can't lean over. <laughs> well, give it back I can't, then. like, okay. to I'll, constantly, I'll like, keep okay. putting stuff down, because I, I can't actually lean over. Okay. <laughs> Um, there's two terrines. Now, I looked uh, earlier. One of these sold in the last few days for 15, so they're not too bad. Mm. This one is really nice. Wow, it's bleaching out. Um, mm. So that should be us in profit if we can sell that. And then there's another terrine which has issues. The lid is oh, yeah, that's a shame. shot. And the actual base, uh, it might clean up actually, mm. but it, it's it's got issues inside. But I think that will clean up. So we've only got the base part for that one. And then there's just loads of plates. The plates do quite well mm. as spares uh, for people who are. Um, Keith W says, "I hope I don't offend with this question, but do you think the term vintage is overused in listings, especially?" So for stuff that isn't really well vintage. Well, yeah, I don't think you should use it if it's not actually vintage. But well, um, I do think as a keyword, it does help people identify. Like today, I searched um, 
completed for vintage blankets and um, I've got a couple of baskets there, so such vintage baskets. So people do use it as a keyword. What is the, technically, what is it 20 years it's for 20 to be years, vintage? Yeah. Or is that retro? Or no, is retro it's, just well, Etsy, Etsy say that it's 20 years. So Okay. <laughs> so we've got loads of uh, sources, side plates. Hold on for one sec. I can put them on the floor, don't worry. And are they dinner plates? They look kind of small. I wouldn't. Want... I wouldn't say so. No. They're say about they like look. eight inch ones, uh, but these do seem to sell quite well. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, Kim says vintage is twenty years. And oh, then... Alexa sent us a picture. Picture, yeah. what of her mum's collection? And then we've got cool things like I'm guessing that's like a sugar bowl. Oh wow! And a that. whoa! That's so can we show cool. the picture? No. I don't know, Lex. Can we show the picture? <laughs> and look, like a little uh, condiment bowl, and then this cute, see little. See, it's got the spoon hole. Apparently, um, 1966 for jam. So that's a nice little set. Things like that, I think, will go really well. So that's yeah, awesome. for five pounds, they actually had another set, um, which I didn't really look at. But oh, I, I should yes, you I probably show. should have um, grabbed that as well. Yeah. Where's the teapot? Oh, oh, difficult to not get tea. Oh, Lex says jam pot for me, please. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that because we've got a reflection and. Lighting yeah, is bad, me, but that's quite epic. Oh, there's the terrain in the front there, like yeah, we've got. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, and the, they've got this coffee pot in the back. Yeah. So that's the coffee pot, which is in really nice condition. These don't sell for a great deal, but mm. like I said, if we sell that terrain, we're in profit, and everything else is. Oh, <laughs> is that toys are for boys? Yes. Hi there. Thank you very much for the super chat. Um, it says. Nice haul. Glad you found some stuff to resell. Stay healthy and happy. Stage two COVID reopening here. Uh, reopening here in Ontario, Canada, at the restaurants, etc. That's cool. That's good. Oh, you're at that Let's point. Let's hope that we're going to be yeah. at that point soon. Um, yeah, we're not at the point with shops are no, soon. Restaurants will be after that. The figures seem to be fluctuating a lot, don't they? But hopefully overall they're going down a bit. Yeah. And then there's loads and loads of cups, uh, a couple of jugs. In, well, one of the jugs is, you know, this. Oh, that's that's, that's shame, probably heading for the bin, unfortunately. Oh, no. oh, and that one's shame. got, it's a very old crack, but that's been cracked for a long time. So there's a few ones that are past repair. But yeah, there's loads of cups and more sauces and stuff. So, yeah, we're going to do quite well at that. And that, that's kind of an experiment for us. We we don't tend to do much in the world. I don't tend to do much in the world of China. You've experimented. Mm. Um, but I'm going to part all of that out. Yeah, I sold some nice plates last week. Yeah. So that was cool. Um, I'm, I'm going to save the media till the end, actually. Um, Heather. Hi, Heather, by the way. Um, says... They'll have to shift to one meter social distancing before the hospitality industry can get going again. Yeah. Now these, I think. Oh, these are stunning. Apart from oh. the media, because that really floats my boat, and there's some epic stuff in the media. Yeah. These were the find of the day. Yeah. Look, Heather and Lex, there's some nowels. <laughs> Do you want to display that one? So they are wooden. Gorgeous. carved absolutely gorgeous i love how with this one they've carved the detail in and then it's it's been they've gone over it with filler of some sort and then sanded it back so all mm. of the detail stands yeah, out it's highlighted and it's so so nice this Beautiful, one this is my favorite by a long way <laughs> there you go and now oh i tried to click on it and went away an owl and then this one <laughs> in this really light wood and what they've done is they've incorporated this kind of growth from the tree this really yeah. odd growth thing and they've incorporated it into the design which i think is stunning that's just it's really cool absolutely beautiful so um we asked a lady and they were x amount each and then i said would you take two for a five i think yeah. they might have been three each so i obviously i can't, yeah, I can't I help so. myself it just comes out i just haggle instantly um <laughs> yeah. 
That seemed to be the theme of the day. Is two for a two fiver. for a fiver <laughs> was happening a lot. So I've we have no idea on value, but they're obviously. I don't I don't know about obviously, but they'll be unique, as in hand carved, won't they? So anyway, mm. we will see. But they were coming home with us regardless. Hi Sarah, we just showed the. Um... The crockery so we haven't actually priced it up yet but we will get back to you on it and let you know you know what we've got and what you might be interested in yes um this is nothing exciting and i don't know if that happened or oh. if that was in it when we bought it the dents or that's happened since mm -hmm. it's a sony um blu-ray player i've sold this exact one before yeah, uh, it doesn't have the shame, remote it? but it, it's it's a 15 to 20 pound item but mm. not in a great condition but i've sold them in worse condition i sold one with a massive great dent in the dying in the okay. top before nobody's <laughs> that bothered yeah. you just have to reflect it in your price obviously Kyla Flipper says, I might need to invest in a Nick trolley. I wouldn't want to have to queue again after doing a drop to the car. The queue was huge, yes. We saw somebody, didn't we, today with a trolley, exactly like ours, but in a different colour. It was red. Yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah. The amount of people that stop us at that boot sale are ice. Nice. So I reckon that must have been somebody that stopped and asked us and went and bought one. Last year, what, <laughs> one boot sale, I, not a word of an exaggeration. I think it was five times we were asked, where did I get my trolley from? It's just like Amazon. Yeah. Just just search festival trolley or whatever. Anyway, this was in the video. You may have seen us buying this. Uh, I spotted it. They had loads and loads of gear laid out all over the floor. And I spotted this. Um, sitting there shining in the distance it's a panasonic uh discman now i don't know if it's ever been out of the packaging didn't you buy one of those today i bought one today as well yeah. i think it's properly sealed it's one of those packs that you can a like, clamshell you might be able to pop open but i don't think it's ever been popped open uh anyway and it was a pound i didn't didn't haggle because that's what they said <laughs> um yeah that's lovely little find i haven't looked it up but i think my pound investment is safe on that one um no keith um karen did karen fisher um she is um <laughs> i can never remember karen's channel name karen make, uh, make, no it's not makes and sells anymore sews and makes the sewing thrifter karen oh. the sewing thrifter <laughs> um now this the stall we queued up for about half an hour and we could see through the fence a stall. Oh, we have a super chat from Yorkshire Traders. Thank you. Um, just got a large amount of china done really well. I've ah, really good. Well. Okay. That's yeah, awesome. we're kind of experimenting with different stuff. Um, so we'll let you let you know in the videos how it goes for us. So, yeah, we, we were queuing up weren't we, by the fence and I spotted this on a stall whilst we were stood there with nothing better to do. Um and i actually looked it up because i could tell it was the imagine next one and these go for without the figures 20 plus shipping is about the top end with all of the figures and the, the missiles and bits um i've seen people get up to 50 with figures he does cool things yeah. and he lights oh his eyes are going there you go flashy eyes um so, yeah, we kind of made a beeline for this stall. We wanted to get ahead of the pack anyway. You may have seen in the video, the first few stalls were just heaving. So we went past we went past the media stall. If I'd have gone there first, Lord only knows how much I'd bought because he had some amazing stuff. Mm. Um, we went straight for this. But then, frustratingly, when I watched the video back, in front of this were two big, like, 18-inch tall King Kong figures that are better than this. And I just completely blanked them i just i don't know what happened but i missed them we also missed this on our first visit i was so yeah, focused was on this at thing. least there when we went back um anyway he wanted 10 um i asked him does it have any figures etc etc and i got it for six in the end so that's okay yeah um kelly's not a fan of your trolley somebody had one at the car boot today and they just kept abandoning it in the middle of the aisle was getting in everyone's way well it wasn't me <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what i have to i have to stand guard when you're i stand well, there with it 
and I wasn't even paying attention. I know what you're going to say. I wasn't paying attention this time. But I have to stand guard because people rummage through our trolley all the time. And I turned around the other day, last week. Yesterday. Oh, was it yesterday? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I bought a, a um, board game and um, we were at a stall. The trolley's behind me and a kid was in the tr – well, not in it, but leaning in the trolley, had the board game apart, looking at all the bits. And I was like, uh, excuse me? Yeah, I know. And I so, totally – totally missed it and i turned around and i was like oh sorry that's our, our trolley then we actually had to say it a couple of times didn't we yeah <laughs> um yeah i just wanted to read out gimbal said sensory overload nick nick gets very excited about his stuff what what have we done now <laughs> i've just got a lot to get through that's all actually we're doing quite well but yeah i'm thank excited you. about the media so thank you sue yes oh she says um i was going to send you three pounds each but seeing as you're together a fiver for two, two well two it's for the a theme five. of the day <laughs> thank you sue two for a five, two for five. <laughs> thank you sue you're too kind thank you hope you're well now this has sound effects in it, it's roaring anyway this oh, is it sounds like it needs new batteries build a bear that's it but it's official marvel and it's it's a spider-man special edition thing and i'm oh it's got spider-man on his foot and i'm sure i managed to find a completed for like 30 or something was it 20 mm. or 30 while we were there mm. i can't remember uh, anyway the marvel stuff seems the the kind of limited or special edition ones i think have a good market i don't know i'm no yeah. expert well, I told um, you to leave it behind because I didn't think that build a bear bears went very well. Yeah, but yeah. but he's I think it's because he's marvel marvel and he's themed yeah. and he's got the talking box in there. So anyway, I paid two on him. Yeah, um, Neil says I was going to chuck random junk into your trolley yesterday, Nick. <laughs> What's in at the car boot? Long enough. Well, Neil was at home having <laughs> breakfast, and we were still desperately going around trying to find something worth picking up at that yeah. one. It was rubbish, and we went to a bric-a-brac sale again yesterday. Rubbish. Yeah, Rubbish. there wasn't a lot, but I did get some necklaces. <laughs> um, I think this was in the video as well. Um, same store oh, yeah, where we got the Panasonic. Interested in the phonics as well. Yes, a viewer wants to buy this. Um, so yeah, I, I will let you know. I've had a look inside. It's not been used. It's brand new inside. Yet yeah, the box has been in storage. That's all sun faded and a bit bashed, but contents are unused. Um, don't know what it's worth because i haven't looked into it but it's uh reading rods with these um little blocks there's the brand and learning resources so it's a quality thing um, um steven says i picked up two builder bears for um four pound fifty transformers themed and he's looking at 30. so yeah yeah, and then and then on the oh, two for cool. five theme, <laughs> we picked up two vintage baskets. Why buy one old basket when you can have you two? two. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Uh, oh no. <laughs> are you going or shall I? <laughs> um, I'll let you speak because. Well, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. You might no. as well. Hang on. Does it work as a helmet? Sort of. No, yeah. not really. I saw the um, same lady today, and she had more. So she's definitely a vintage seller. Um, she said they were 1960s ones, but I reckon I reckon about 15 pounds, 12 to 15 pounds back on these each. Yes. And you paid two, oh five, two five, five pound five of the pair. Yeah. They've got a different look. That one is kind of plain in the bottom, but that one's mm. got a very funky kind of cross stitch looking thing going on. Oh, I probably yeah. see it better on the back. Yeah, so they're, they're really rigid, aren't they? They're really yeah, nice. They're, that's why they're so popular. Very, very nice. Ooh, okay. So yeah, the wicker things come back. You haven't bought any for a while. <laughs> no. Um, right. That's kind of mostly it. But then towards the end of the boot set, I mean, there's, there's little bits of media and some books and stuff, but there's nothing exciting there. And your tea, your tea bags. Oh, yeah. And today, somebody completely different was selling some pucker tea bags. Picked these ones up for 20p last week. Uh, they're open, um, but there's still you know, a fair amount in them. And somebody has another different set of pucker ones, which were open, 
And I asked how much, and she said a pound. And I said, well, it's open, half used. Would you accept 50p? And she was really adamant, wasn't she? She was like, no, there's plenty of tea bags in there, a pound. They're not that much new. Well, so, they are more than so that, I, but they're not I, a great deal. I walked away because I thought, well, that's a silly price for a half used yeah. um, second hand. <laughs> we, we have a whole range Oxy of these in tea. our house, don't we? We have like so many flavours of tea going on. Yeah. And we also bought some soaps. Oh, yeah. Everyone needs soap. <laughs> but towards the end of the boot sale, we passed this media stall on the way in. And it was really busy. That was one reason why we kept going. And often when you see dealers, um, the CD stalls with loads and loads of media and it's all, you can tell from a distance, it's sealed stuff or, or there's stacks of the same item. It's usually budget stuff or rubbishy stuff. And I wasn't that worried about going and looking. Plus, it was really busy. So it was right towards the end. We went there and I realized it was it looked like. Well, I spoke to the guy. He bought it all at auction, and he thinks it was a record shop that had closed down, which does add up because it's all brand new sealed stuff, and it's quality stuff. I just want to say, Niall says um, you're going to whack Andrea with something in a minute. Are you trying to do it on purpose? Have you never seen the one where he actually clonks me straight round the head with, with a guitar? <laughs> <laughs> For ages afterwards, everybody was always saying duck. <laughs> so to give you an idea, um, I don't know if his prices yes. came down. Very, very nice. Yes. Oh, no wrong From one. the beginning of the boot sale. But when we got there, the majority of his stuff was three for a pound. Um, so I went filling my boots. Um, there's a lot of obscure stuff, but obscure is good. Uh mm -hmm as long as it's the right obscure anyway so it's all sort of mostly from the last decade uh this is 2018 for example uh josine clark and ben walker i think that's heard of ben walker now i've scanned a bunch of these into amazon to get an idea and scanned a bunch into ebay just just to amuse myself really and it ranges from five pounds to 15 pounds top end per these so i couldn't tell you offhand but just give you an idea it's all sealed brand new this is what's a date on that 2012 for example i haven't changed my hair clive purity <laughs> ring the shrines i haven't changed it at all i think the color's starting to wash out but i haven't changed it it's just really good quality stuff lisa hannigan she's great actually well tom wants to know are the owls already up for auction no we haven't listed them yet None of this is listed. But if you are interested in them, then drop us a, a message on a private message on our Facebook page. You found Glory. Now oh, that's a while ago, this album. Oh no, 2017. You see, I mean, some of this is only a couple of years old and it's all sealed. I mean, that one's actually got a price stick on it. And I'm mm. sure I scanned this and you can get more than that currently. It's weird. Uh, Peter says, Have you got any metal CDs? Um well, there is a few bits, and there's one in here that you probably got because it's into Shikari. Um, but um, yeah, and somewhere. Neil asks, would you sell them on Discogs? Um, I've never used Discogs. I should probably try, to be honest. Um, I'm so comfortable with eBay. That's what I do. I used to, in the past, this would have all gone or mostly gone up to Amazon, but I am restricted on CDs now. Yeah. So none of it's going to Amazon. It is an HMV sticker. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. Is it not? I no. thought it was HMV. No. It's Sim very similar looking. It, it's similar to an HMV sticker, yeah. but it's not HMV stock. I yeah, don't... even Neil said he, th he thought it was an HMV no, sticker. No, they are very similar, but it's not. Uh, <laughs> Lawfaria says, um, yeah, definitely, definitely HMV. No, I, I don't think it is. <laughs> I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they actually say HMV on oh, somewhere, don't they? Keith says, um, should you come across a CD by Fred Banana Combo? Please let me know. Fred Banana Combo. I'm really hard to remember that. Khalees. Um, there's just so, I mean, there's multiples um, of some stuff. And there are major multiples of some stuff. Now, most of the oh, still. Oh, right. What's that? Yeah. Hang on gone away what there you go pop ah okay yeah that would make sense did they go under i think it did 
I don't know. Um, only last year, Ellen queued outside of a FOP to um, meet the, the pilots. Oh, well, we don't really know the backstory. <laughs> and I don't think the guy actually knew where it came from. He bought it all at auction. So God knows how cheap he got it. Anyway, everything I'm showing um, you was 33 and a third pence each. Yeah. And um, we can't list them on Amazon because we're restricted on Amazon now. I used to, yeah. In the past, this would have gone mostly into FBA and I'd yeah. have been getting pretty good money on most of it. So anyway, all of this stuff where there's ones and twos of it all was um, Groove Armada. Oh, Groove Armada in Brixton. Th 30, what am I saying? 33 pence. And then there was a bunch on the other end of the stall that he had separated off for whatever reason that was two pounds each um so once he realized how serious i was because we built up like three massive heaps from this stuff i said to him can you do anything on the price and i will fill my trolley sort of thing um so the stuff that was oh joan i didn't know what was owned by hmv to be honest Oh, and, ah. um anyway let me just read this comment quickly um best bloke says yo guys i'm a new bit new viewer and i worked out from one of your videos that you live near bulldog yeah not yeah, far we live in hitchin <laughs> um i live in buntingford i'm guessing you went to great amwell car boot today we didn't um i wish i could have gone no we know bulldog very well we lived there for a few years we did, yeah um so yeah that's that's our neck of the woods so anyway there were loads and loads of uh bruce springsteen stuff these very cool Iggy and the Stooges DVD uh, live sets and other ones that I've got in multiple. And I, I did a deal with him where it was four for a fiver, so £1.25 each. Um, Hi, Quillen. Thank you for the super chat. Um, and so here's just kindly answered your question. <laughs> <laughs> what does Quillen say? Hi, like that. Says, Nick, is it true that most bars don't have bar stools high up chairs up to the bar top in the UK? I would say most don't, we, but know, some do. Quite a lot do, to be fair. They don't tend to be the ones that are fixed to the floor and you can spin yeah. on, but and some not do have them. Right up against the main bar, it's usually no. on a table somewhere. Sort of. In the UK, we're way more limited space wise so most of our places are smaller than they are in america yeah. so bar space is at a premium so they don't tend to fill in with stools i think maybe that's the reason our pubs are, are smaller everything's smaller here <laughs> yeah. but some some places do have or they have ones that you can move around my local where i played poker or used to before lockdown they have movable ones that's a good question actually um do the hit cds have a similar similar following well i can't speak following or value to the now cds uh i think the early hits ones do sell okay mm. but yeah. there's not as much of a following at all because the now ones cleverly are numbered and once things become numbered so every, the hits ones. everyone wants to collect them all yeah but they never carried it on really did they either no. now is still going now <laughs> and <laughs> yes, i think people look yeah one thousand and something <laughs> in short that they're, they're not as good as now no <laughs> oh well well, depends, to, to depends, buy and to buy and sell. Back in the day, I thought the hits albums were better than the now ones. To be honest. Anyway, shall I carry on with my media? I've got a couple on vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got loads of things like this. Um, I'm guesstimating these will be about a tenner each. Um, but because they're oh. multiples, it's so, I love that you can write one listing and sit there and it just ticks along. I must have twenty oh. or thirty of these. Okay, this is apparently a conversation that um, Krillin has had with Andrew. Um, who insisted that um, Weatherspoons, in particular, didn't really have bar stools? <laughs> I think it depends what Weatherspoons you're in, though, doesn't it? I'm yeah, Weatherspoons don't tend to have bar stools. That because the bar is usually heaving mm. on a. Can you imagine sat at the bar in a Weatherspoons? <laughs> You'd just be surrounded permanently by people <laughs> gagging for beer. Yeah. Look at that, some Forty One's recent album. I think. Um, George is into these, or was in his past. 2016. Um, uh, what I was going to say... How, how have we gone to talking about bar stories? Oh, John Grant. I love oh. this artist. Freakiest album cover of the last decade. He's a bit odd, to be honest, full stop. Oh, he's an absolute nutter, but he's also a genius musician. He swears a lot. He's, oh. <laughs> GMF is one of my favourite songs of him. Greatest mother 
Yeah. Is um <laughs> is <laughs> go go and check John Grant out on YouTube. He's a genius. Anyway. I don't know if Peter's behind. Is he saying two nowels? That was ages ago, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Click the little live thing. You can catch up. See, Arcade Fire, there's all sorts of good stuff. But it also includes, um, I don't know how many we got in quantity, a couple of hundred, I'm guessing. Uh, there's a load of DVDs, and I ended up getting these for a pound each. Uh, these are good, uh, have a really strong resale market. And there's also a couple of the limited steelbooks. These are stereophonics. Was I trying to do a Welsh accent? I don't know what, you're I don't know what that was. Sorry, sorry, Lex and, and Leah. I, I didn't commit. And anyone else who's Welsh? I, I didn't commit to that. <laughs> in the chat. Ice tea DVD, um, just to give you an idea. And it goes on and on and on. Yeah. Like me going on and on and on. I, in hindsight, I should have taken the guy's number and or asked him, has he got loads more at home or oh, whatever? Oh, two hours on the CD. I thought we were going back to the two owls. Is there two owls <laughs> on the <Lex>. CD? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's the wrong one. It jumped. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Um, oh, okay, Peter. I didn't realise that. I didn't really look at it. James Brown. Okay. I've got a brand new right, bag. Right. Uh, live yeah, TV. Nia says that was not a Welsh accent. <laughs> no, no, I am. I'm well aware. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. No, I don't know either um yeah so loads and loads of it um i should probably stop boring these good people but i wish i'd i'd i nearly made him an offer on everything point blank just said you know will you take whatever for the whole lot oh is that the enter ah oh, pete have you got that peter ray i assume you have because you're a big fan um oh no that i went to click but, on something that is rod i need to click on hi rod says are those cds pucker and how do the d cents <laughs> yeah I, I wouldn't buy dodgy cds i've been in the trade long enough to spot them um but yeah i don't know why i'm out of practice i don't know why i didn't have the conversation with the guy a how much for the lot and b how much have you got at home or in storage um i i i kind of cherry i did a big cherry pick we we bought nearly half of his stock that he had um or maybe a third maybe i was hoping it was going to be there yeah. this week i I'll... slipped in a couple of cliff richard though that sounds so <laughs> weird there's only one that i've seen oh i thought it was two. Oh, maybe um <laughs> thank you sir here says by the way i want that um wwf bed sheet set please okay really it is yours if you really do want it. You, you'd have to get your own single bed and sleep in on your own with it. Oh. Disease man cave bedroom. What have we got here? All sealed. Look, dear hunter, I love the obscure stuff. Well, we're still going, are we? Because all, all my methodology with it, with it was I scanned everything into Amazon and went off its new price on Amazon. Even though I can't sell on Amazon, it was a good gauge. <laughs> and there was some stuff there that was really cheap on Amazon new, so I just left it. <laughs> Beck will understand. Well, you say that. <laughs> there's, there's stuff in here I've never heard of, which is cool. No, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Cliff Richard, Kay. I totally agree. I, I very much like Cliff Richard. <laughs> Igloo Ghost. And I mean that sincerely. Igloo Ghost. Mets, Strange Peace. I, I love the obscure. Oh, Break so, Away from Me says, I'll be buying some of those CDs for sure when you list them. That's cool. Oh, here's Andrew. Bombino. <laughs> I said we don't have bar stools at our bars like they do in America and in Weatherspoons. They don't have any at the bar at all. Yeah, I'd agree yes. with that. That's... Yeah, they do have some like on um, sort of high round tables in Weatherspoons. Yes. Where you can sit round them on a bar stool. <laughs> yeah. You see, Weatherspoons, if Rob's still in, um, Weatherspoons, which is a big chain in the UK, they get so busy at the weekends, the bar is usually like four or five people deep. So putting bar stools in the in the middle of that would be just bonkers. <laughs> oh, the Suns, that is. That's quite cool. See, that's the original price, $9.99. I'll probably get, still get that on some of these. Some I may just get a fiver. But all of these odd ones were 33 oh, pence each. Um, jumped. Hang on a minute. I really wish I'd made one off on the lot now. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. Cliff Richard sold. I said, move it. Yes. 
so yeah there we go that was my little media score there's lots of love oh, what's wrong with me i can't speak i've got carla's um talking of cliff richard um <laughs> cliffy byro <laughs> Oh, yeah, Cliffy Byro. Cliffy Byro. Um, Phil Hig Higginson says, I saw Cliff live in the 80s. I've never seen him live, but my mum has. Stone Roses. Um, both their debut and the follow-ups in here. Oh, yeah, Lee, I saw that on your Instagram. That was cool. My <laughs> most random buy today was a three-foot-long kudu horn. Very good for jabbing anyone who got within two meters of me. What's one of them? Is that um, a musical I'll, instrument? I'll have to like show a... you. I'll show you. Is it like a, um, what is it in the Dr. Seuss books? A flugelhorn? Was that <laughs> no, it's not one of them. Right, anyway. Um, so... what did I, I was going to, oh, Krillin was saying, is it this? No, that's not that. Oh, I keep going. Yeah. Um, Krillin says, but does Weatherspoons have waitresses for the tables? Um, they oh, don't, but for food, you can, yeah, for food. Well, they bring it to you when you order it, but you can order on your on your phone on the app, and then they will come and bring you food and drink. Yeah, but it's not really a waitress service. Yeah. They just bring you the stuff. And the cool thing, because they have an app now, and we've done this when we've been out before, and we shared on social media, we're out in a Weatherspoons. Right, People can um, order you drinks from home on their own app and cut, bring it to your table. Yeah. It's that look. It's an actual oh, horn, a horn of a, a horn of a creature, yeah, like a like a goat thing. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's cool. Mm. It's on Instagram anyway, so it's public, so we can share that. Oh, I so can't this, hold this is, it like that. This though. is Lee's picture. So that that at the bottom curly the thing. Horn. It's not really focusing. So I'm I'm picturing like um like a mountain mm. goat thing. Something yeah. like that. Look at this one. Kudo horn. I don't know what a kudo is, actually. Has that even got a... Oh, there you go. Joe Goddard. Not heard of Joe Goddard. Oh, look. It's old Buble himself. Yeah. It's his last album. Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah. I will have fun with all of this. Oh, Last Shadow Puppets. Very cool. So that kind of wraps... Oh, no, there's this. Oh, we haven't what, shared hot this. Hot Chip, what people are saying about Hot Chip. Hot Chip? What about Hot Chip? I don't know. A couple of I, people said Hot Chip. Did I show a Hot Chip album? Maybe. I don't know. Did I? Kay says, my aunt is a huge Cliff Richard fan. She once heard a stranger in the supermar supermarket talking badly of him, so she... <gasps> And slapped the said stranger. Oh dear, that's taking she a bit of fun. slapped the stranger. <laughs> wow. Oh, Joe Goddard, hot chip. Oh, really? Okay, interesting. Did you get any Cure albums? I didn't see any. No, no Cure in this stuff. The only downside of buying a sealed media hall when you're a music fan is you can't listen to the stuff without unsealing it. I'd love to have a listen to loads of this. Anyway. <laughs> One thing we forgot to share was this, which if you look closely, it's got, there's Iron Man. And there's all sorts of different Marvel characters. You've got Thor down there, etc. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And on the little cap, which comes off. Oh. So it's an officially licensed uh, lava lamp. I haven't plugged it in to see if it works. Shall I? Mm. Hold, hold that. Let's see if it works. Do you think it looks like it's a bit faded? I thought that, but then it's all faded. You'd think on one side yeah, it might be worse right than the other. So maybe it's not. Just kind um, of muted. What did we pay on that? Was it a pound or was it two? Pound or two? Yeah, pound or two. Ooh. Oh, it's it's alive. No, these take ages to get going. Yeah. We, we could just stare at it half an hour. <laughs> Should we do that? Just stare at that yeah. till it warms up. That lava lamp should go nicely with the wicker. Well, we, we do have um, a Bluetooth speaker, which isn't Marvel. It's um, DC, isn't it, Scott? Yes. Yeah. yeah, we play our tunes in the living room off our phones to a, a DC wireless thingy. Yes. Okay, so that concludes oh. stuff we bought. Uh, oh, I keep going to click on something and then the chat moves. Leave that on your channel for three hours. 
So it's time for Matt Walker's shout out of the week. Hello. Um, hi, Matt. He says, hi, Nick and Andrea. Gra great to see you back at the boot sale. It looks like you've got some good buys. Um, please, could you give a shout out to my wife, please? Hello, Jem. Hi, Jem. Um, it's her 30th birthday today. She's wow. been spoiled. Ah, oh, happy birthday, Jem. Happy birthday. Do you remember those days? 30s? Yeah. Oh. That's a long time ago. <laughs> I don't feel any older. <laughs> I remember the 30s. And apparently on the um, mental age test, I'm only 23. What did I score? I was like, I was in the thirties or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ellen scored thirty. What was it? So I, I twenty. She scored thirty-two. Well, I thought this was like an IQ test, and I thought, here we go. I'll do well at this. Yeah. And then it's not. It's like a how kind of young and trendy you are. So I, I was way old. <laughs> uh, it was weird questions about politics and and you know all sorts of stuff, wasn't it? Um, Apple Court is going to be live tomorrow at 8.30 with QuickBooks. If anyone has a question or two, find me on the QuickBooks YouTube channel. Very cool. cool. We still haven't got around to doing the sign-up for that, have we? Because we No, <laughs> well, we we are we are getting a new business bank account. Won't go into that now. but So we want to get that all set up first, and then we can get the QuickBooks set up on with the app. Rod's being rude. Which we tried before, but we got the wrong one, and we couldn't both use it on different phones. Rod's being... Rude, 1930s. <laughs> Who's older between us, Rod? Hmm? You'll always be older than me. <laughs> I'm going to be on Rod. always say to um, our friend Simon, because yeah. he's a couple of years older than you. And um, It's not even that, is it? No, maybe not. Maybe he's he's barely you. older than me, but he's older than me. So I, so I rib <laughs> him about it relentlessly. <laughs> um, oh. Now, I'm going to be on Rod's channel in the morning on monday how this is going to happen i, I think i think we're finished now lee you're all right <laughs> what there what? are lots what? of what? people what? that what? enjoy the cds though to be fair andrew can you tell take the cds off it feels like we've been talking cds for about an hour whatever yeah i'm excited yeah. right and i'm I, I wish cds as much as i love wicker <laughs> I honestly wish I bought the lot. Uh, what test is it? it? I can't remember what it is. It's like... Um... Oh, you you took a screenshot, didn't I you? I did, yeah. So... It was uh... called mymentalage.com. Yeah. It's quite a fun quiz. Rod's a millennial, but the first millennium... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, yeah, people asking what test it is. Yeah, it, it's a strange one. Uh, you'll all come out way younger than me because I'm an yeah. old man. You have to answer honestly as well. Yeah. Not make up what you think the app will, no, would I'm like to No, I'm pretty sure I say. answered honestly. Um, oh, antelope type animal, the horn is. Uh, antelope type. And just put below look that. forward to seeing that media in the shop. Yeah, well, with media, I, I can list pretty quick. So Yeah, that is the good thing about media, especially when it's sealed. It should appear quite soon, but don't hold me to that. Um, what are the rounds going to be for the quiz tomorrow? That's a very good question. We um, haven't decided, up have we? Lou said what it was there. Ah, yes, antelope type animal. The horn is really old and has a mouthpiece drilled, so uses a signaling horn. Oh, I see. What, oh, right. I guess it was the original Vuvuzela. Once it's COVID free, I'm using it to wake the kids. <laughs> They'll love that. Any more barstool? I think we bottomed out the barstool. Yeah, I think we might have done. Yeah. Chat. I think um, we're done. Head over to Andrew's channel for more updates on that one. <laughs> oh, someone wants more CDs. <laughs> what? Have you got any more? <laughs> Pleasant Valley Picker. Kind of showing mm. that the, you've got the gist of it anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do wish I bought a lot now. Um, oh, bye, Joan. You're probably already gone, but <laughs> bye. So, that was everything, was it, that we picked up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite things, bye, Joan, are definitely obviously the blankets and baskets, but the, the nails as well. The nails, oh, the, the oh nails. Yes. yeah, yeah. I think I love the media hall, it's just uh, mm. that's our background is record shops. Mm. Um, I'm passionate about music. I, I love dealing with this stuff because it, it's 
I loved record shops before I worked in one, before I owned one, before we set one up, all of that. Yeah. It's just a big part of my life. And I love kind of feeling that I'm still doing it in some way. Yeah. If you Clyro come from the town next to me in Kilm Kilmarnock. Cliffy Byro. Yeah. Good band. Yeah, I, I really got into oh, the... Um, Vicky. What was the album we they had Vicky after today, Puzzle? Uh, only revolutions. We saw Vicky today. Oh, is that Vicky? Yeah, hi. So you reckon which is your favourite owl? Um, that's probably that one. To be fair, the chunky, Just, yeah, thinking one. Yeah, he's really. He's, he's either he's got cute. a got a crick he's in his neck, cute. or he's deep in thought. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Oh, so this is my mental age is thirteen. <laughs> what on that test? <laughs> I doubt it. Okay. So, yeah, I was saying um, before, I'm on Rod's channel on Monday. We're going to chat about stuff. <laughs> um, but it means I've got to be up on reasonable hour on Monday morning. That's that's a good thing. Now he's thinking, I think so. Either mm. that or, yeah, he needs to see a chiropractor. <laughs> uh, some owls can rotate their head almost yeah, 360 degrees. That's freaky, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely freaky. Okay. Yeah. Um, do we want to wrap up at that point? Well, I don't think we've got a lot more to say. I've so, talked so much tonight, barely drunk any of my coffee. Somebody was asking, uh, what are the rounds for the quiz tomorrow? Have mm. we decided that? We've got a list of requested yes. rounds. Matthew Grant says, Tell Nick, I will take the Joe Goddard and Groove Armada albums. Thanks. Um, if he just sends me his price to do a deal, that's on Instagram. So okay, right. I will. I will try and get onto that. Cheers. Yeah, we're not. We haven't decided which rounds we're going to do, but we do have a list, an ongoing list of player oh. player requests for the quiz. So we will come up with a quiz round. That's eight o'clock every Monday. If you don't follow us on the quiz channel, link for that is below. So please come and join him. Yeah. Um, yeah, how did we Ooh, get on it's selling? It's a mystery. Well, it's a mystery to us. We haven't counted the money yet. Counted. But, um, <laughs> we did. We went but with we a car. We cleared a lot of stuff, which is good. We went with a car. I physically couldn't get anything else in. And then coming back, there was loads of space and we bought a load of gear. So I reckon we sold three quarters of what we took. Mm. Um, and stuff I thought was going to be a real long shot. There was loads and loads of uh, wiper blades that have been listed for the wiper blades I listed really early from that big car parts haul. And uh, there was a load of stuff that was just so obsolete it wasn't selling at all. So I took all of that and I sold practically the lot. And then we went for a walk at the end. We packed up right at the end. Mm. We went for a walk and there was a stall and they were obviously traders. And, I, and, and this one guy had it all. And I was like, fair play to you, you know he's gonna yeah. obviously sell it on Fine. and um, we wanted rid of it so. yeah i mean he got a great deal i was doing him a yeah. pound a pack and he bought the lot and i took a load of really obsolete spark plugs that just we were getting no interest in they've been on for way over a year mm. sold the lot um to the same guys um so stuff like that went and all sorts of bulky stuff had a big uh yamaha organ functioned so if you were using it buying it as the end user it would be perfectly fine but the casing was coming away it had issues it had condition issues yeah if you see what you're buying and you know what you're buying then it's fine yeah it? i was happy oh, to sell it because because it functioned and if you just want to use it as a keyboard it'd be fine but i didn't want to sell it like that through the internet and maybe get a return on a big heavy up bulky item so we got a shot of that bye daryl and all sorts of other gear um, we did film, so we're going to make a video that will be out soon. Yes. Okay. What's Andrew? Andrew, you are uh, so immature. His, Why? Apparently his mental age is 12. <laughs> what, on that quiz? He was just putting in what he thought was the cool answer. <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice it's mug. Kath Kidston. Ah. Yeah, I like it. I hear the quiz channel has exploded since I won the Star Wars quiz. All down to you, Andrew. Okay. Oh, and, oh, and Gary. 
sorry, said, I'm, that... um, Gary Reynolds there said it was nice to see you today. It was Gary that waved at me yesterday when I was all confused about stuff. <laughs> oh, good to see you, Gary. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I was overly with it. And I said to him, I wasn't sure if you were waving at me or was it someone behind me? And then I wasn't sure whether to wave back. <laughs> I know it's boiling in here, Boiled. isn't it? Uh, very, while very she won the near, her mental age is 28, and uh, she'll take that because she's 37. Yeah. I See, was I quite th- pleased with 23, to be fair. I think my mental age was about 37, which I suppose yeah. is an improvement on 40, what am I, 6? Yeah. I, I never know. Okay, we will wrap this one up. We've been threatening to leave for a while. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Michelle. Oh. Oh, where'd it go? Uh, 18. Well, that's pretty good going. Um, Michelle, Michelle's with 14. That's the record. Come on. Yeah. Uh, I'm always up for a job. A lot of car parts. Been selling car parts on eBay for five years through my shop. Um, yeah, I did actually sort out a load of stuff that I, I just, it was loads and loads of small bits that I just wasn't going to ever do. And I did have a buyer for that, but it's kind of, the, it hasn't happened yet. So if you if you do want honestly a load that I just I'm not going to deal with, um, it's not stuff I've listed and hasn't sold. It's just stuff, lo- loads and loads of small parts. It's hundreds of them. Mm-hmm. Um, you're welcome to them. I've, I've, I'd sell them, but <laughs> you, you can have them. <laughs> okay, are we going. I think we are. Yeah. <gasps> yes. I think I need to. I'm shattered. <laughs> Am I 46? Yes. Yeah. It's a true story. Yes, we'll see you tomorrow uh, at the quiz. Um, yeah, I haven't decided on rounds yet. No. If you haven't played it before, normally we do three picture rounds and three kind of general knowledge rounds. Uh, quite often the subjects are picked by the viewers uh, and it's just a bit no, of a I laugh. I don't know if we've got some that we could do. Maybe. Yeah, possibly. All right. Well, we will see you there. Head there. Radiohead, shall I do the Radiohead round? Oh, yes, mm. please. We will see you at the quiz tomorrow, 8 p.m. Uh, we will see you back here Sunday at 8 p.m. And hopefully the boot sale video will be up soon. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Words of wisdom? Um, what, was, what was it I said last week? Stay safe and sanitize. <laughs> no, we need a new one. That <laughs> oh, was last week. I don't week. know. I don't know. I don't there you know. go. Your, your words of wisdom. wisdom. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.